how do you stay encouraged when you're posting on social media and you're not getting any responses? Um, you've heard from me and from others that consistency is important. And so, you know, yes, if I were consistent on a regular basis posting, I will probably eventually <clears throat> grow enough of an audience where I'll get some responses. But in the beginning, it is obviously um, can be discouraging if you post three times and you got no comments on any of them or even no likes on any of them. Um, <clears throat> as you can imagine, I've been there because everybody starts. I didn't grow up famous. <laughs> I didn't uh, start on social media well known already. And so I had to start where many of you are starting. So I, what I, the way I started, which the way probably a lot of us start is with our own Facebook friends and our Instagram friends. Um, when you first start off, you're probably posting on your Facebook profile or your Instagram profile, you've added some friends and they're probably just encouraging you with a couple of likes. So that's probably, uh, I, I can imagine that's probably already true for a lot of you. Does anybody here have zero friends <laughs> on Facebook or Instagram? I, I don't think that's true. Um, but if, let's say, I'm just going to, you know, use, uh, let's say that you have zero friends, uh, you're maybe you're starting a brand new Facebook account or Instagram account, and you don't want your current friends to know about it be, for whatever reason. Um, and you're starting from scratch, then uh, basically, I would go to the very next step of you learning how to do Facebook ads and Instagram ads. I made that same experiment back in uh, four years ago. Now, actually, I did a, I did a whole year where I wanted to experiment with how do I grow an audience without letting anybody know that it's me? So I started a Facebook business page, fan page that had no, nothing attached to my name. And I didn't promote that page to my existing network. I wanted to say, if I were only to use ads, could I grow an audience? And the answer was yes. I grew an audience of several hundred loyal readers um, you know, on a regular basis, commenting and liking my, my posts. And they got to know me. Now, I didn't continue the thing because I just wanted to run a short-term experiment to see if it was possible. And the answer is absolutely yes. If you learn how to run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you can absolutely build a loyal following of people interested in what you're saying. Um, and then from there, you can sell, you know, sell services and events and products that, that, that are interesting to them. So uh, that's the simple answer is, are you running ads? Because ad, and I, when I say ads, I don't mean people don't know you and you're gonna you're gonna try to sell them on your services. It doesn't really work that way for most of us. Most of us aren't selling commodities and mass produced items that are easy for random people to buy. We're not selling toilet paper or cereal. Okay, <laughs> most of us are selling services like healing, counseling, coaching, mentoring. Uh, we're selling some kind of like person to person service and random people are not going to buy it. No matter how good of a copywriter you are, no matter how great your branding is, it's very, it's going to be very difficult for random people to, to buy your service. So what you need to do is when, when we run ads, we run it with, I call it, you know, the, the ministry of content. You know, you are basically using ad dollars to share helpful, useful information out there so that people can say, wow, I don't know this person, but what, uh, they posted was uplifting or educational, inspiring in some way. And once they see your ad, you know, once they see you several times, they're going to say, you're going to start to become like a known person to them. They didn't know you, you know, a month ago or three months ago, but now they're seeing your ads regularly, your content regularly. They're like, Ooh, yeah, now I, I like this person. I, and I get this all the, of course, I still run Facebook, Instagram ads all the time. Um, you know, and I always, constantly get people buying my courses or inquiring with my, my group coaching because, and they, I said, how did you hear it? Like, Oh, I saw you uh, Facebook ad or Instagram ad. And most of my ads are not buy my course. The most of my ad dollars are spent. Just here's a piece of useful content with no call to action. Nothing, no, no, not, not even asking them to go to my website, nothing but they just keep seeing my stuff over time. So that's the simple answer. And um, <clears throat> beyond ads, uh, without spending money, um, collabs is the other way. Collabs are basically you getting together with somebody else who has an audience. Now, why, you know, and then having them interview you, um, you know, but now I so said, why would someone do that? <clears throat> Sometimes you pay them <clears throat> to do it. 
because there, there are podcasts and, and YouTube channels and Facebook pages that take payment. But, <clears throat> but I'm thinking, well, instead of paying someone to do it, you just might as well run ads. <laughs> Running ads guarantees you the metrics to be able to see, are you reaching the right people? So, so I don't recommend paying for collabs. I recommend <clears throat> running ads first to build a little bit of an audience. And then you can use the fact that you have a hundred followers now or something like that to then collaborate with someone else with somewhere between 50 to 300 followers, right? Let's say something like that. And it's like, hey, um, I have a hundred followers. You have 150, it's close enough basically. Uh, could we interview each other? And even if only 10 people watch each of our interviews, we don't have a huge audience, but each, that's 10 more people who wouldn't have found me. And, and when you do collapse, the, the, the audience is much more, um, it's a, it tends to be a higher quality audience than just running ads because ads is like they're seeing you randomly. But this person, when you're doing a collab, they're interviewing you, they are introducing you to their people that, that are loyal readers and loyal viewers of theirs. So use ads first, number one. And number two, now then go to collapse. Now, most of you already have some audience, right? Like I said, nobody starts with zero friends on Facebook or zero, yeah. So all of you start with like probably 200, you know, 100 friends to 300 friends on Facebook. You already start with some audience. So you can already start collabs today, right? Um, you don't have to wait. But if you're building up a, a business page, a fan page, you're trying to get your friends over to your fan page, you know, that's fine. Uh, you know, start building an audience with ads there, and then you could do collabs. So I hope this is helpful and let's continue the conversation from here. So I run three types of ads or th ads on three platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I run all three. And the LinkedIn ad thing is relatively new for me. I'm only like three months seriously into it, and I'm really liking it. I, I, I see it as a great of a potential, if not greater than, than Facebook, Instagram ads. So I'm really, but it costs more money. Instead, Facebook, Instagrams are much cheaper. Facebook, Instagram ads are, are two to five times cheaper than LinkedIn ads. Like I said, Facebook, Instagram ads start with 30 a month. You can get somewhere with it. LinkedIn ads, you got to start with like 100 a month to start getting somewhere with it. So it's, it's more expensive. However, um, when should you choose one over the other? Well, with LinkedIn ads, you would choose LinkedIn ads when you're very clear on what professions you're trying to reach. So people with a certain job title or people who are in certain LinkedIn groups, like those are easy to reach on. You, you can advertise to members of certain LinkedIn groups, meaning you go check out LinkedIn groups. There's thousands of them. And you tar if you see a group with thousands of members, you're like that is the people in that group are, are my people, like people I'm trying to reach. Then you could use LinkedIn ads to reach that group. Um, that's actually one of the benefits you can't do on Facebook. You can't reach, run ads to reach people within certain Facebook groups. You can run ads to reach Facebook interests, but not groups. Anyway, so I would say profession, professional title or LinkedIn groups, if you're clear on that, then LinkedIn ads could be really beneficial for you.